Authority for Standardization and Meteorology, and his main job is preparing technical regulations and conformity programs. Quite right, okay. The floor is yours. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Mr. Frankfurt, the organizer of the events, uh, to invite ESMA to present our activities uh, relating to the regulations, which is affecting the sectors of uh, automo automotive. Uh, I will present uh, uh, about our activities in, in general, and I will mention in the end of the regulation the main things in our new draft regulations for spare parts in UAE. Uh, I'm Engineer Khaled, working for ESMA, MX Authority for Standardization and Metrology in Standards Department. Uh, my, uh, I'm the Secretary of the National Committees for the uh, Vehicles, uh, and I'm presenting uh, UAE and the uh, Gulf organizations for the uh, cars and tires. ESMA in the law is the sole authority in UAE responsible for quality certifications and infrastructures of the quality. Uh, publishing in the law uh, number 28, 2001, uh, head by the, the uh, uh, boards, uh, the, the head of the boards, chairman of the boards is the Dr. Rashid Ben Fahad. As we are the main uh, authority or the only authority responsible for the uh, infrastructures of uh, quality by the law in the UAE, so we have many tasks. We need to uh, have it, to do it, to implement it in UAE. The main uh, task for ESMA to prevent health economy, uh, providing them with a good conditions, with a safe conditions, with a suitable condition. So the main reason for us is the safety. Uh, we supporting the economy, the development of the country by ensuring that all the uh, uh, products, all the uh, surfacing in the UAE is going in the uh, good conditions. Uh, we are following the international practice, the best practice, and developing it in UAE to be uh, able to implement it in our country. So, to, to do our activities, we have these uh, main activities which is relating to the main departments in ESMA. Standard departments to prepare the standards, which is main basic for all the product. Metrology testing. We have an, uh, an agreement with the national uh, labs and international labs. We have a certification department, which is a conformity department, and we have an accreditation department. Uh, all our activities are related to the international activities and we are a member in many of the international uh, organizations and uh, authorities responsible for uh, standards or for conformity or for accreditation. The main department responsible for the certifications in ESMA is the conformity department, who is responsible to implement the regulations in UAE, to issuing certifications, which is, we have two schemes, we have EQM scheme and we have ECAS scheme, conformity certificate scheme and quality uh, mark scheme. Also we have ESL scheme which is relating to the, to the energy efficiency and efficiency of the units. Uh, we have also small department or uh, division uh, for market surveillance and inspection. This, some of the international uh, references, 
we are a member in all these uh, authorities uh, and we are IEC WE approved authorities to issuing CP schemes. These are programs which you can see it in the product now in the market in UAE, ECAS, EQM and the new scheme which is related to the STAR scheme for energy. For the automotive spare parts regulations, this draft is prepared uh, since uh, three months, four months, and uh, it's published to WTO. I think most of the, uh, of the manufacturer uh, get a copy from the regulations for a comments. Now it's in the final stage of the comments to finalizing the draft to be a regulation in UAE. What sectors we are regulated in UAE? We regulated a lot of sectors. Automotive sectors is one of them. We have chemicals, we have uh, uh, construction, we have uh, food and agriculture sector, we have energy sector, we have oil and gas sectors, and also we have a custom, uh, customers' goods. <laughs> All these sectors, we have a national committee in UAE to prepare the standards which is, we use to implement the regulations in UAE. So we have the UAE regulations, we have plus the national committees who prepare standards for implementing the regulations. Uh, plus, for some sectors, we have a GSO standards which is implemented in all the region in the same time, like the automotive sector. To regulate the automotive sectors, we need to regulate many supporting things. It's not only the spare parts which affected the automotive or the car itself. So, we have three main sectors. We have some. We now doing supporting for our activities for the new new scores. We will see here that. And also, we have the repairing and surfacing bars. In the supporting of environment, air quality is one of the main issues in UAE and our concern now to reduce the emission in all of the country. So many projects now going in UAE for that. ESMA is supporting this project. Now we are working with the Ministry of Environment and some other authorities to prepare the final for the uh, insensitive program for the friendly vehicles in UAE. And this regulation, I think, uh, is published from the Ministry of Environment for comments. Uh, it will be ready, uh, I think, in the next uh, quarter. Also, a new requirement for vehicles in GSO 42, which is a very famous standard for the safety of the vehicles in the regions. Now we have the new version, which is relating to the type of the emissions. In the new draft, we reduce the emission to, the, to be equal to the Euro 4 uh, in all the regions, not only UAE. Uh, plus, there is a lot of a new requirement for the safety of the cars, of the vehicles in the road. Plus, we have the Future Mobility Conference, which is ESMA uh, held last year with cooperation with Mr. Frankfurt also and other uh, with the Ministry of Environment. Uh, this conference is, was the, the, the main basic uh, uh, platform to uh, introduce the friendly vehicles. It was for hybrid and the electrical vehicles. And this year will be also in November 
14, 15 November, it will be for a new uh, future mo uh, mobilities and the smart driving cars. So this kind of supporting the new technology, the new vehicles, the new uh, uh, activities to be used in the UAE. In the regulating side, we have now in the UAE a new scopes of the vehicles, not which is coming ready from the manufacturer with the mass production and come to trade in UAE. We have now modified vehicles which is modified according to the purpose of using or the needing of the customer. So now we have a regulation, the regulation in the uh, uh, last stage, in the approving stage. Uh, it will be showing also, inshallah, next uh, quarter for regulating these sectors which is became big and big in UAE. Also, we have now a lot of requirements from uh, traders, from manufacturers, from uh, uh, UAE engineers who is wanting to, to, to access this type of trading, this, and they have like a uh, type of, we call it, low mass production of the vehicles, which is handmade or uh, designing with uh, uh, like kit cars or other type of cars which is can be done in the uh, low production and you cannot implement it, the process of approving the vehicles in this type of uh, quantities. So we have special regulations now to implement it in this type. Also we have electrical vehicles regulation which is also in the uh, WTO uh, stage for uh, uh, comments. It will be ready in the end of this year, inshallah. In the surfacing and repairing bars, which is very important for the vehicles, we have now uh, regulations for the repairing shops to regulate the repairing shop putting a criteria for this type of activities, what the requirement should be, less minimum requirement should be in each type of the shops working for a servicing for repairing the vehicles. Also this draft is uh, the, in the final committee draft. It will be uh, published for our comments within two months, inshallah. Spare part Regulation, which is our uh, uh, speaking today, will be okay, uh, according to that. Spare part uh, is part of the surfacing for a car. So these sectors, as we say from our colleagues, from the custom, these are very huge trade in UAE. And this sector need to be regulated, no need to be uh, controlled. Because you know more than me, what the effecting of these type of products in the safety plus in the economy. So these sectors need to be regulated and these regulations will be regulated this type of product. Also we have a draft regulations for the used car which is coming to UAE to use in the road. The main reason for this regulation to allow only the safe cars to be used in the road. Not the reason to ban any, use, any importing of the used car, but to allow only the cars who is safe to use in the road to be imported to UAE. If we see this uh, holograms, we can imagine that the spare parts is part of the strategy, the full strategy to control the sectors of the automotive to make it controlled, regulated and safe in UAE. What the scope of this regulation, spare part regulation? The regulation is mentioned to Annex 1. This will implement it to Annex 1. Annex 1 have 14 categories, 14 different categories will implement the regulation 
in the first step. Next step will include another type of spare parts. This is the categories included in the regulations. If we see this category, we see that these are the main spare parts using and affecting the safety of the vehicles. And these are the major uh, parts which is using frequently in the market. In the article of verification of conformity, if anybody see the regulation, you will find these articles, which is Article 4. This article mentions that the supplier shall apply for approving. The supplier of the spare parts, which is giving him the responsibility, the legal responsibility for bringing this product to UAE. So the responsibility will be for the persons who bring the product to UAE so that we request the supplier to apply for the approval and in the law of UAE if this product is a regulated product then the customs will not allow this product to enter without approving from the authority who has regulated this product means without ESMA approval this product will not be able to enter UAE if we see 4 and 5, which is the main discussions was with the manufacturer and with the trader about the two types of the product, which is the genuine or the commercial spare parts, how we will segregate them. So the procedures will be different for approval for both of them. Not because we are supporting the genuine Again, it's the, the, the commercial one. The reason for that, because the genuine spare parts is already tested, approved, according to the approval of the vehicles in GSO regulations. Because all the manufacturers of the cars, of the vehicles, before they import the vehicles to UAE, they need to have a GSO approval, which is applicable for all the region. So, this approval have the approval for the parts itself and already tested the vehicles with these parts so that we don't request a third party test again for these parts. These examples of the standards which is we implemented to, for example, the data, what type of uh, parameters need to be checked according to the test, according to what standards, which is GSO, UAE, GSO standards, means this implemented in GSO and adopted in UAE according to the law. All the GSO standards should be adopted as a national standard. For brake bags, for example, these are the standards, which is a variable in GSO website, also a variable in ESMO website. Oil filters. And if we see here, for example, we can see all the GSO standards is relating to the international standards or international practice. So, we don't have our own requirements. It's an international, best international practice. We adopted, we modify it to be applicable in the region. For battery, for example, start battery, air filters, we have all the parameters, which parameters have one part of the standards for testing, if you see the series of standards 11155 is a series and 12103 is a series this testing the parameters of the filter safety belt 
this the annex, what you read in the regulation, could be like that. Have all the standards, all the parts, and their references. Thank you for listening, and I'm ready for any questions.